Welcome back to another exciting episode of Cyber Defense TV. I'm your host, Gary Malewski, the publisher of Cyber Defense Magazine. Sitting in my hot seat today is a very special guest. Daniel J is the product manager at gttb.com, which is GTB Technologies, and they make some amazing DLP technology. Daniel, welcome back. Thanks for having me, Gary. We're glad to be here. So tell us, what are you doing given so many breaches and so many people working from home now since COVID and the poor hygiene on home computers? And how are you helping corporations now that the whole equation has flipped from intranets to extranets? Right. Uh, it is a difficult uh, transition over the last uh, 48 months moving to the remote workforce. So how we accommodate our SMB, our mid-market and enterprise in the Fortune 100 space is by providing DLP at a cloud level, at the agent level and or at the gateway level. Uh, so there's multiple forms of communication. We do have a Mac agent available today, Windows obviously and Linux. So any operating system that the client might have, we'll be able to accommodate and they'll get DLP in real time. Speaking of in real time, how long does it take to deploy your solution? Is it rolled out as an agent on every computer? And is it done in minutes, hours, days, weeks? So it depends on how scalable the, the project is. We typically say up to 10,000 licenses. We need four calls. Our sales team have been extremely efficient. We have excellent managed services. The client is not alone when it comes to GTV. We have the best support. So we would say the agenda items are four separate one hour sessions where the agent will be fully rolled out. How aggressive they want to be it could be within the week, it could be within the month. We first do a lower environment test and we can roll it out through group policy. What's nice is that the agent checks into the console in real time. So you'll 24 seven access. So Daniel, you have a command center or a console to manage all the endpoints and the agents. What kind of data does it collect? What kind of information does it get in alerts in real time? So depending on the industry that we're working with, let's start with healthcare. It's our number one industry today and financial institutions are number two. For healthcare, we're primarily working on PHI data, even genome data, any sensitive information from insider threat, the GTB modules will be collecting on from member record numbers to research reports, all the way to maybe HR information from salary information, phone numbers, emails, whatever the client looks to protect or monitor for, we have built in scripts and use exact data matching to correctly identify data. That is the key to success for anything, identifying your data. So it's an excellent question that can scale all the way to all forms of data protection. So any industry can use this and your lightweight agent is doing some intelligent eavesdropping on the user's behavior to make sure they're not a nasty insider threat. 80% of breaches or more happen from the inside out. It's probably worse now that everyone's working from home on poor hygiene computers. Does your agent block them or does it just send the alert to the command center where IT has to remediate or, or will it actually isolate the asset? You're absolutely right. Uh, and we're not the only ones talking about this. Our friendly neighbors from all different types of cybersecurity, they're doing a great job from intrusion prevention. The problem is now the human layer, right? And what we call insider threat. Are users accidentally sending out data to let's say Dropbox where it's not supposed to go. Are they sending too much of that data? So the system is smart enough to know what is real versus what is fake using our artificial intelligence solution on detecting the data correctly. So your actions are of the following. You can log violations for sensitive user groups or, but for privileged access users that are sending out confidential data, we could quarantine, we can automatically encrypt. You can have the user justify why they're doing it, or obviously an advanced stage is blocking mode. And a vast majority of our clients are now in blocking mode because they trust the system uh, to prevent the data from going out. One more thing, there is a balance in life, right? We wanna be compliant. We wanna abide by the data regulations. We wanna provide advanced security. And we also need to let the user do their job. So there's a good balance with all these three with GTV. So if there was an accident or if there was malicious activity, GTB can step in and notify the appropriate person and even block the violation. Daniel, you brought up encryption. Do you encrypt uh, information 
so that it can't be stolen automatically as part of your service for people? Uh, great question. At the agent level, yes, we are, I'll give you some insights. We're planning on releasing our own email encryption service, but right now we work with our friendly, with our friends at Proofpoint and Mimecast and Zix, Microsoft. If you're for email encryption, we automatically route the email to the encryption gateway for automated email encryption. The most popular use case we see today is if the user forgets to e uh, encrypt the email and click on the encrypt button or change the subject line, the system will inspect the email. And if there is sensitive data, let's say member record numbers or bank account numbers of, of, of a certain threshold, we will then route it to your encryption gateway, change the subject line so it knows to send out the data correctly. So it leaves less steps for the user. So really That's exciting. Right. You can help users from making a lot of mistakes. Now, a lot of yes. people get phished, right? And they get uh, zero day malware, remote access Trojans, covert exfiltration data tools, remote desktop tools, things that steal. They get phished, they click a link and then things that steal. Will you detect and block that? Do you work with antivirus vendors? Do we need an AV agent if you're collecting and managing and watching all this? Right, so we would always recommend an AV agent, of course. The answer is yes. We have a rule of thumb here at GTB, right? If the user doesn't understand what SSH is as a protocol, they shouldn't be using it. So the agent will give you the ability. I wish I could show it to you, Gary. You can see the rules. You can make rules based on protocol or form of communication. You can create rules based on the user group using LDAP integration. You can also control where data is going. So if there was a certain, let's say, I don't know, a thousand records going out through SSH or SSH alone, we can block it automatically, regardless of the content inside. So you will have, our customers have full insight as to what's sending, well, who's sending data out versus let's say if you got a, a bot sending out data, we'll let you know where the machine is sending it out and how many times it's blocked. And you'll get like hundreds of events within seconds and it's being blocked. So we can prevent those breaches using unauthorized bots. Sadly, it's a thing today, but it's possible. That's great. Do you notice a top level domain connectivity to other countries or geolocation where a person's computer shouldn't be connecting to, let's say China or Iran or Russia or something and that they're infected? There's an issue. Yes. Without disclosing too much information, sadly, the answer is yes. We can tell you where we have a destination map in our dashboard on where transmissions are going, whether and what the uh, remedial action was. So if we're, if you're doing business, let's say in South Africa and data is going there, great. But if you're doing business in Singapore or Australia or Japan, and you're not doing business there, you might want to take a look at that, right? So you can dive into those unique events and see what is sending it out. And based on that IP range, we can block it or other remedial actions are possible. That is actually very common practice. You're right. Excellent. But can a small business use this? Is there risk of insider threat even in an SMB? For the first 10 years of existence, we were primarily focusing on the SMB market, right? So we need to know that this needs to be comprehensive. We understand that if you have 2,000 people working in your company, you're probably the only one doing all your cybersecurity uh, solutions. So if you go to gttv.com forward slash downloads, the full system can be downloaded in any local VM, or you can install it in your AWS account, your Azure or your uh, GCP. So it is extremely light and easy to manage. So it's definitely available. Again, one or two calls for SMBs, I would say four to five calls for enterprises, and you'll be fully up and running and logging and listening and learning on who is sending out data, where is it going, and you can create educated decisions to leadership or to compliance to make the appropriate uh, rules for compliance and advanced security. This is 100% available for SMBs. That's awesome. Daniel, how affordable is uh, the system? We understand that not only do our uh, IT admins need to love it, but the CFO also needs to love it too. I would to say I'm not the primary sales guy, so I don't know the exact price list, but I know we do come in to the lowest with our competitors. We do, and to prove it, we also do a price match. So if there's a quote with the same features that it's available, we will do a price match to make sure that not only do you love it as the user, but also the CFO making the decision. Because ROI is at the end of the day important, but 
You don't want to be these companies that are getting these breaches. These fines are way more expensive than what we would be budgeting this out. As yeah. Yeah, the breach will put you out of business nowadays, or it'll cost a lot of money to a lot of people. Just look at Colonial Pipeline that it costs them millions, but it costs consumers a dollar extra in the price of gas for a month. These kind, I'm sure attorney generals are probably slapping lawsuits or fines on them for that. So best practices to defend against ransomware. Do you fit anywhere in that ransomware equation? Do you detect when it's kicked in or is that left for the antivirus companies? So that's more for the antivirus companies. What GTB would do is if God forbid ransomware does get entered and not only preventing access, uh, but if they're sending out data through any form of connection and we've had customers that have experienced this through solar winds, we then gave them the best practices. Okay, this is how you lock down your extrusion uh, potential. So if there is data leaving, we will prevent it from going out. That's excellent. So you really are a must have kind of the turbocharger bolt on for any endpoint security solution that's in the market today. Gary, we should send you in front of our client's boardroom and convince them to say that this is a must have. That is the trick. We believe it is a must have. And sadly, we're experiencing other companies that when they get affected some way or another, then the board approves the budget. But we want to get ahead of that and try to approve a budget before. But yes, this is a must have. So it's a must have, but we're finding that so many companies have breaches because they didn't put DLP in the budget when they should have. And that's why they trust their insiders. And that's why insider threat is such a problem. It's explosive and sometimes it's accidental. An employee that you trust clicks the wrong link. And then sometimes it's a really malicious person who's been planted there to make a lot of money and steal your trade secrets or steal customer records and sell them you know, on the dark web. That is correct. And I will give credit where credit is due. We are seeing our data regulators within the U.S. knocking on doors and auditing and saying, this is what we recommend you have to prevent those. So I will give out the credit where it's due for CMMC, ITAR, DFARS, HIPAA, PCI, GLBA, CCPA, GDPR. There's so much going on in the world. But the governments, the local governments and federal, they're getting ahead of it. And uh, we're all doing our best to say DOP is a must have. HHS finally has the wall of shame. I don't know if you've seen it, but they list yeah. all the breaches in healthcare and the, the numbers haven't slowed down, but it really is embarrassing to various hospitals and healthcare providers when they've been put on the wall of shame. It is better late than never. I'm happy they're now uh, addressing it, but you're correct. But it just shows you that everyone is vulnerable. There, there are major gaps going on in the market. Sadly, hackers are still three, four, five steps ahead of everything. So if you have something that can create rules based on the data, you're really protecting your sensitive information. You can find it with GTB, you can protect it with GTB, and at an affordable price. Daniel, is there anything else you want to share with our viewers or listeners that we haven't covered? Yes, thank you. I would say if any of these, contact us if we hit on any of these points, any DLP, any discovery, or data classification. We like to think that we are a semantic, a Veronis, and a proof point that had a baby. And that is GTB under one umbrella solution that can be run for SMBs, but that is enterprise oriented. We love our Fortune 100 companies, but we take our SMBs just as seriously. So it's with that, we've been growing like crazy. We've had our best year ever, and we hope everyone here joins the GTB family one day. That sounds great. Daniel J, the product manager at GTTB.com, GTB Technologies. You made it through my hot seat. I really enjoyed this interview. I hope that many people go to your download page as soon as possible and get one step ahead of the next threat, which may be a malicious insider. Thank you, Gary. Yeah, you can see I'm sweating, so I'm glad I, I survived. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks for coming to the hot seat. And then, folks, come back next time for another exciting episode of Cyber Defense TV. Thank you. Take care.